this video we're going to look at irrational numbers. Now, so far we've talked about a whole lot of different groups of numbers. N was the natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. We added 0, we had the set of whole numbers. We added the negatives of those natural numbers, and we had the integers. Then we added those numbers that were one integer over another, and we had the rational numbers. And now we're going to put with these what are called the irrational numbers numbers. Now, if rational means it can be written as one integer over another integer, irrational means it cannot be written as one integer over another integer. So, here we go. If you think about your square roots, if it's a perfect square, it's going to be rational. If it's not irrational, so 25, that's 5 times 5, so the square root of 25 is 5. This is a rational number. Square root of 75 cannot be one number times something else. This is an irrational number. Square root of 2 cannot be written as one number times another number. It's an irrational number. Negative one-third, the negative does not matter to it. One-third, it's a fraction made up of integers. It's a rational number. 5.6, 5 and 6 tenths, it can be, as we saw in earlier videos, change from a decimal to a rational number because it repeats or terminates a block of numbers. 0 0.34, 334, 3334, and if you notice, there's no pattern developing. You see what's going to happen, but there's no repeating block of numbers. Irrational number. 0 0.36120, 120. Yeah, here's a block that repeats. Rational number. 20.13141516. You can see a pattern, but there's no block repeating irrational number. Pi, irrational number. Even though we think of it as being 22 over 7 sometimes, it's only an approximation of that, so it's an irrational number. Hope that helps you to distinguish. If you put these irrationals with the rational, we have what we call the real number system. And as always, have a very happy day.